I put out a video and it was <laughs> snarkingly titled something along the lines of, you know, this is a cyberpunk experience, 10 out of 10 game of the year. And it, it was my game crashing. Um, and I don't think it's a secret now that a lot of folks are having issues running this game um, and it's running on well, multiple platforms. Now, I played it. I will. You have to get the PS4 Pro version because the Xbox Series X and the PS5 version upgraded version of the game actually isn't available. So uh, you're playing the PlayStation 4 Pro version and um, it crashed on me during the last session over at twitch.tv slash youngover59, which again, you should follow me over there. I'm taking over that damn platform. Crashed on me three times uh, during that entire session. So, I guess I can totally understand everybody. There's a lot of frustrated people on different consoles, on different, you know, even systems uh, that are having issues with this game. And let's set the scene as far as what I'm thinking about the game as far as if it lives up to the hype. Now, it depends on, and I guess this is a generic kind of way to answer it. It depends on what your hype and what your expectation of the game was. <clears throat> okay. So with some people, you know, you look at the trailers, some people expected this really hot, like fast paced kind of game. And it's not really that, um, at least not initially. Now it does have that variation in which you're able to go. You know, if you want to go more stealth route, you can go more stealth if you like me want to do more of loud routes you can do that as well but either way it's not as like pacey as i think a lot of people anticipated with it um but that doesn't mean that it's bad it is an rpg at the end of the day and it plays like one now when you actually can play the game i believe that it's a pretty immersive experience uh, in the sense that it's not contained to the point to where it's so cinematic, like it's an interactive drama, right? Which is you know, Last of Us 2, those types of games. It's not that. Um, it is still an open world RPG. You can go at your own pace. You can do it, basically whatever it is that you want to do. Main story, side quest, all of that sort of stuff. It's not controlled, and it gives the player that kind of freedom. And as I've aged as a gamer, those are the type of games that I'm more so into. I don't want to have my hand carried uh, through the entire gaming experience. Um, that's not gaming to me anymore. But when it comes to out, everything outside of that, the game is suffering right now. And I believe that they should be criticized for it. Now, when I played it, as I just mentioned, on the PlayStation 5, uh, uh, PS4 version, albeit, it crashed multiple times. We saw kind of weird bug audio glitches. You know, what random kind of stuff with the characters falling over weird, getting stuck in elevators, all kinds of uh, bugs and stuff that we had been dealing with. And I thought, OK, maybe it is just a console version of the game. I'm going to speak on this a little more uh, here in a little bit. But last night, this is why I'm tired right now. Last night, I got it for the PC. And guess what? It's not optimized on the PC either. So this is what it boils down to. The game wasn't ready to be put out. It's not optimized. Now, some folks would say as console, which some of you would call, you call them console peasants, right? Uh, they're playing the game. Well, why would you get this game on the console? First and foremost, that is a dumbass statement. I want, I want, I want to be, I want to get that out there. That's a stupid ass statement. And that is not one that will be afforded to any other company if it was not CD Projekt Red. Bethesda, Activision, EA, um, they put out these games that have issues, Ubisoft, and they get grilled for them having these sorts of issues. And just because CD Projekt Red has positioned themselves to be so consumer friendly, for whatever reason, they get to get a, or people make a lot of excuses. Now, yes, this reminds me a lot of Glitcher 3, but that actually proves the point that they get to get away with a lot of shit. And I guess my frustration is less with CD Projekt Red, though partially because they type, they hype themselves up as well to, oh, we're different. We're not like the other companies. Yeah, you are. You had the benefit of making games that 
aren't, you know, most of them aren't online. Your biggest games aren't necessarily online uh, play, so you don't have to have that modern form of monetization, which they already confirmed Cyberpunk Online will have microtransactions, so they're going to be doing the same shit. But even in this regards, in releasing games that aren't necessarily finished, right, uh, they do that too, right? And it has to get patched. Witcher did that. It's just it was so good of a game when it did run, people looked the other way, and that's my problem, right? So that's why I'm saying it's less with CD Projekt Red because I understand that this is an ambitious game. And I understand there's many of ambitious games. The games are way more ambitious than what they were back in the gap. So I expect them to have some sort of technical issue. Some people would disagree with me on that and say, we shouldn't let them make it at all. So I understand that some of these are going to have technical issues. My issue is with either be CD Projekt Red fanboys, be it content creators or what have you, if you are not going to criticize them or rather heavily dock them, for putting out a game that is not optimized, don't do the shit for other games, man. That's all I ask. Be consistent on the issue. But for some, that's why when someone says, well, on PC, you know, I don't know why you would run this game on PC. It's like, oh, 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 oh why you wouldn't run it on PC? Now, like I said, it's not optimized on PC either. I'm going to get to that a little more. But the game was marketed for the previous generation of consoles. Do y'all not remember how long this game has been developed? Right? So the most of the development was over the cycle. Like if it hadn't got pushed back 99 times, we wouldn't even be discussing this. Because it wouldn't have got released during the time that the Xbox Series X had come out and the PlayStation 5. That was the whole, it was marketed to. And, no, and nonetheless, that's a, Reason one, number two why that's a stupid ass thing to bring up. If someone gets a game and that bitch has Xbox or, or One or PS4 on it, that's not the problem of the consumer that they got it on that version of the game. They got that version of the game and it doesn't run properly. That's not on the consumer. So, and that's why I'm saying it's the, the reaching that a lot of these fanboys that did do with this is nonsense. Well, it runs on, uh, I, I'm not having as many crashes on, on PC. So the fuck what? If the game wasn't ready to be put out or they, it was too powerful for previous generations, don't fucking put it on the previous generation and don't sell it. But you did. Therefore, you should be criticized for it like any other game would. So many games come out this past year, more between Mars Avengers and Assassin's Creed and all these other game, EA games that come out that have all of these issues. And the first thing people talk about, rightfully so, is how it's like they push, it's a rush job almost, right? So it puts out, it's almost unplayable for some certain, you know, depending on what system people are on or what luck of the draw they got, it's almost unplayable for them. And you look at it, well, they just wanted to capitalize on the money and it, why can't they put out complete games? CD Projekt Red does the same shit. When I'm talking about, I'm talking about game destroying bugs, right? As in the game fucking crashes. As in the bitch is off. I got videos, you can go watch the previous um, streams. How many times that happened to us? That's not my fault as the consumer, bro. And this is the hilarious thing because I put the, I got the damn system or I got it on PC last night because I'm like, okay, what the hell is going on? Uh, and and I, I, when I replay it, I'm probably not going to play as a corpo, so I might as well play it to the at its max capability, right? The most immersive experience at it looks, it, you know, looks the best. It's the whole lure of playing it on PC. Keep in mind, I got a fucking mammoth. This PC right here, this is my second PC, but this PC ain't no fucking joke. I-9, I-9, 9900K, I got a fucking Titan RTX, like a 2500 goddamn, uh, $2,500 goddamn uh, graphics cards, right? I have four games that end up being optimized, maybe not at lunch, but do end up being optimized. I have no fucking problem uh, out of that deal. I run fucking cyberpunk right i'm running on the the, the obviously when you oh, when fresh out the box if you will you're running on ultra ray tracing all of that shit 4k uh all of that that bitch was getting 
I don't know if I even touched 30 frames on that, by the way, with all of those settings off or uh, 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 on. So, of course, as to be expected, I'm moving everything down. I'm getting to the fucking medium se uh, seconds, and I'm still not even getting above 60 frames. I'm not even above 60 frames, man. So what do you have to do to try to get this goddamn thing to run on 60 uh, 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 or like above 60 frames? You got to basically dumb this shit down. And, and this isn't just my experience. You got Linus Tech. I was just watching a video of his running on medium settings and, and he's not, he's barely getting 60, right? He's barely, he's barely getting 60 with the top gear on fucking cyber. We're not even talking about crisis anymore. Can the game run cyberpunk from going forward, okay? So I turn all of that shit off. I, I may can get fucking 200 frames or something in the fucking menus or something like that. But in order to try to get it to run above 60 frames with, 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 with my shit, right? With, with, above 60 frames with my mammoth of a PC with this particular PC. This is my strongest one, but this is a strong PC right here. I got them have the game look like a potato. So let me get this straight. In order for me to increase the performance, I gotta turn, I gotta, I gotta run the settings, not on medium. I'm talking like fucking low, bro. For me to get above 60 frames on this game, I might as well play the bits on the console if that's the case. It wasn't optimized. Now, of course. I am sure that this game will be patched. Those issues will be resolved at some point. But again, if you are going to let them make it, I don't want to hear the young years of the world. I got to call that motherfucker by name. I don't want to hear those types bitching about any other game, putting out a product that is not ready to be released, that is not optimized. If you are going to criticize Square Enix, EA, Bethesda, Activision, other AAA studios, whatever. For putting out their games and it having those problems. And you and me make the argument that, well, why are is it that these types of games have to be patched to hell? in order for them to function fucking properly, don't let CD Projekt Red make it because they have presented themselves as consumer friendly and you like the fucking Witcher series. That's why my frustration is less with CD. If Now, I wouldn't grill CD Projekt Red if they weren't talking all of this shit trying to present themselves as if they are fucking different from everybody when they're not. If they just went about their business, I will give them the benefit of the doubt. It's an ambitious game. I expected it to have technical issues. But my issue here is that looking at this community, right? Looking at these different um, like content creators and so many people give CD Projekt Red leeway for putting out unoptimized games at launch is fucking bullshit. So if that is not a game breaking thing, stop fucking talking shit about other games that you claim the, the other companies, the greedy corporations, that's the corporate, all of those guys stop bitching about their products at launch. If CD Projekt Red can get some shit where I can't go through one fucking Twitch session without the goddamn game completely crashing on me. That's not my problem as the consumer. Hilariously enough, the PS5 version of fucking FIFA, which I know it's not as, as of an ambitious game, didn't fucking crash on me three fucking times. But again, that's not my problem as the consumer. So for you to sit up here and be like, well, run it, uh, run it like this on, on, on your PC or, or this, like that's not the problem of the consumer that on the top of it, it says PS4 on the top of it, it says Xbox uh, one. And they play it on that system and it's almost unplayable for them. That's not the problem of the consumer. That's on them. If it, if it wasn't ready, it shouldn't have been put out. If you're not going to criticize them, that is. Right? Now, if you're consistent, 
this this message doesn't even apply to you. The message more so applies to a lot of CD Projekt Red fanboys who let them fucking make it for doing the same shit because they enjoy the game. Y'all fucking get them. Y'all 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 something else. Let's just say that. Y'all something else. But when the game does play, it's I'm loving. I, I'm liking it. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Right, I am liking it. It's an immersive game. It's an ambitious game. A little more slow paced than what I even anticipated, but the game is the game, right? And it looks like I'm gonna get a lot of bang for my book, a lot of gameplay out of it. But right now, it's frustrating playing that goddamn thing on the console. And if I have to get to make the game look like a potato in order for me to run above 60 frames, I might as well play on the fucking console uh, instead of playing on PC because that was my initial thing. Like, all right. All of these people, I'm having all these issues. Maybe if I move to PC, that's why I stayed up to damn six in the morning uh, last night messing with all of these sets. I'm like, I know I'm not the only one having these problems. If you don't believe me, go type in Cyberbug on 20 and look at uh, how the various amounts of people playing on various amounts of systems and they're having unbelievable bugs with this game, right? Again, if, if that's not game breaking for you, I don't, I, I, you got to keep that same energy when other games come out that have those particular issues. That's all I ask. So that's my assessment initially when it comes to Cyberpunk. When it runs, it's, it, it seems like it's fantastic, but good luck getting through a session. And some people are, I'm sure there's a guy with a PC and there's plenty of people saying, and I don't believe half these motherfuckers either. Well, I'm running it on, on this and this and I haven't had any problems, but I'd imagine that there's going to be someone with a goddamn X bone who hasn't had problems. The problem is right now is that it's very widespread enough for it to be worth mentioning that people are having their games crashes, crashing. They're having so many bugs and it's simply not optimized. Like I said, I'm still messing around with some settings, but this is some shit that I shouldn't have to, uh, you know, have to do. Um, at least not initially. Yes, that's one of the first things a PC game, definitely a competitive PC gamer. Um, you, you know, you go around, you mess with the settings, try to maximize your performance. You want as smooth as you possibly can. And granted, this isn't a, uh, a more competitive game. I still will want to get my plan on PC. I want to get my frames above 60. Right. Uh, that's the case. If some dickhead in the chat says upgrade your PC, I'm willing to bet money. My PC costs more than you. And if you missed the early, missed the early portion of this segment, that's your problem. But my graphics card probably costs more than your fucking PC. It ain't my PC. I can run other games, other ambitious games as well. Maybe some of them had to get patched to hell, but that goes and speaks to the problem. Right? I want some big. I want as many frames as I possibly can get. But if I have to make the game, I try to turn off everything. I'm talking low settings. In order for me to get above 60 frames, like I said, this is just me. Right, I talked talk about right before the stream watching Linus Tech deal with the same thing, right? Where he has a mammoth of a PC, and he's not he's barely he's barely getting sixty frames on fucking medium settings, right? So if I gotta make the game look like a potato in order for me to get above sixty frames, I might as well just play it on the fucking console, and that's my decision right now is that I'm gonna finish the game uh, as I was uh, gonna get back to where I was on the PC and then stream that again. But now, fuck it. I might as well play the first big playthrough as the Corpo on the PlayStation 5 um, and, and call it a day. But the game's not optimized. All I ask is that you be consistent and keep that same energy. So if you're going to let them out, well, we got to give it time. It got to be passed. They say, who else is releasing games that, you know, are, are, are perfect? Okay, nobody. But that's the fucking point. Stop acting like CD Projekt Red is perfect when they're not. That's all I ask.